Welcome to Mechatronics Lab. Today we are going to carry out our first experiment that is, liquid flow measurement using differential pressure transmitter and rotameter. The objective of this experiment is to carry out flow measurements of liquids using differential pressure transmitter, DPT, and rotameter. On completion of this experiment, students will be able to measure the flow rate of liquids using DPT and rotameter. The volume flow rate, Q, of a fluid is defined to be the volume of fluid that is passing through a given cross-sectional area per unit time and is given by the following equation. Volume flow rate, Q equals volume, V, that passes through a given area per unit time, T. The volume, V, of a portion of the fluid in the pipe is equal to the cross-sectional area, A, of the fluid, times the width, D, of that portion of the fluid. Thus, the equation for volume flow rate reduces to Volume flow rate, V, equals to cross-sectional area, A, of the fluid, times velocity, V, of the fluid. Equation of continuity for incompressible fluid states that, the volume flow rate, Q, at any point along a pipe is the same as the volume flow rate at any other point along a pipe. That is Q1 equals Q2. The equation for the volume flow rate is found out by following the principle of Bernoulli's theorem, which states that the sum of the pressure head, velocity head, and elevation at one point is equal to that at another point. The following equation represents the conservation of energy with no energy loss between two points. The first term represents energy stored as pressure, the second term represents kinetic energy, and the third term represents energy due to position. Students can solve the above equation to find out the equation for the volume flow rate. Thus, the volume flow rate, V, is directly proportional to the square root of differential pressures. Flow rate measurement can be carried out using differential pressure transmitters, rotameters, ultrasonic flow sensors, turbine flow sensors, electromagnetic flow transducers, and laser anemometers. Flow sensors of this type use an obstruction along the flow line such as a nozzle, an orifice plate, a venturi tube, or a pitot tube. The basic relationship between the pressure differential and flow rate is expressed by the following equation. The rotameter is another widely used flow measurement device in the process control industry for flow measurement. It consists of a tapered or cylindrical transparent glass tube and a float. The float rises until the annular passage is large enough to pass all material through the pipe. The float is constructed with a diameter that completely blocks the inlet. When the flow starts in the pipeline and the fluid or gas reaches the float, the Boolean effect of fluid or gas makes the float lighter. The float passage remains closed until the pressure of the flowing material plus the fluid buoyancy effect exceeds the downward pressure due to the weight of the float. The float then rises and floats within the medium in proportion to the flow at a given pressure. The float then comes to dynamic equilibrium. The volume flow rate, Q, measured using rotameter is given by the following equation. The experimental setup of volume flow rate measurement is as shown below. The volume flow rate of liquid, Q, flowing through the pipe can be controlled by changing the percentage of the opening of the control valve, through the PID controller. The PID controller generates a current proportional to the percentage of opening. The current, I, to pressure, P, converter, generates 3 to 15 PSI pressure, proportional to the applied current of 4 to 20 milliamperes. The pressure is applied to a spring actuator with positioner, controls the movement generally up and down, of the poppet in the control valve. This in return changes the volume flow rate of the liquid flowing in the pipe. This volume flow rate is then measured using a rotameter and differential pressure transmitter. The working of various components is as given below. 